Hey guys, I'm striking out big time looking for a faucet water filter that blocks out amoebas. Yeah, we all got parasites again. I say again, well we got them in Cuenca when they kept shutting the water off and we got them here too. Yeah, they're shutting the water off tomorrow night from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m., what I'm told. So you're running off of a cistern. Anyhow, we're striking out. We're going all over the place here, all the hardware stores, all the stores. Now, the main uh, commissariato here only has one brand of filter, and it doesn't really say what it does. We went to its website, and it doesn't say what it does. How do you buy something when they don't say what, what it's going to do for you? Hey guys, so it's all about adjusting to a new location. I'm going to show you a picture of what I had before. This is what I have now. And I'm working with what I have. I'm learning that uh, the old way of thinking, oh, you think you're going to have things shipped and all this, people bring you things, it doesn't work. And uh, it doesn't work for me, that's what I should say. Probably a whole lot of other people too. But what I can get is sunflower seeds, so check it out. So I'm going to go the old sunflower greens route and make salads out of them. Here they are coming up okay. These are the Swiss chards. We'll see how those do. But like I say, there's not a whole lot of space. I'm going to put an extra rack here with trays on it for the sunflower greens. So I'm going to grow those, make salad greens out of it. Maybe put some other greens in here. Try to have some greens on hand. That's so important to health is uh, garden greens. It's not the same buying greens at the store. They've got lots of greens. You know, you look at it and it's wilted, you know, store stuff. There's no way around that. I mean, this stuff's going to sit in the shelf for a while. It's going to wilt. There's just no substitute for the immediate amount of vitamins and minerals you get from something that was immediately pulled out of your garden just before eating it. And I've been doing that for decades, so I haven't been able to do it as much here. I don't want to compromise my health over it, so I'm going to figure this out, work with my challenges, and see what we can come up with. I was talking to our landlord, the locals here, the Ecuadorians, they have more of a built-in built resistance to parasites. I'm not sure how accurate that really is, but maybe there's something to that. Okay, so as you can see from the pictures, we weren't the types to ever resort to eating white lettuce. We've never, ever, ever ate white lettuce. We had a lot, a whole, awful lot of garden space, way more than we really needed. Uh, matter of fact, we could we had enough room for orchards, orchards, gardens. You know, most houses are like that in the states. They have a lot of gardening room. Even my friends that live like within the city limits in town. You know, we're used to having just a lot more yards, so it's a big adjustment. I mean, I'm used to going in the garden, having all the greens I ever could ever eat, and so I'm I'm going to adjust to this. I'm going to go to all those uh, fancy things you see all these videos online and all these books on container gardening. I'm finally going to do it. Now I did do some container gardening even when I had lots of room just to uh, experiment and uh, my experience with container gardens is that they dry out. They dry out really fast especially if they're sitting out in the sun because you know everything's out above the, uh, the dirt and so it's really hard to retain moisture. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work with this. I'll keep you guys posted and show you how it's coming along. I'm actually pretty excited about uh, trying something new, coming up with a solution to a problem, you know, overcoming a, a challenge, that kind of thing. I'm actually quite enthusiastic about it. You know, I always see it as a challenge, so that's just one aspect of it, just uh, to be able to still have the completely fresh, uh, homegrown uh, salad greens and all the benefits that come from that. No matter where you are, you have some challenges, right? Too cold in the winter, too hot in the summer, drought, this, that. So it's always something. And so this is just another challenge. So we'll, we'll see how we can, uh, what we can do with it. So I don't know what we're going to do. We might have to get the filters from Cuenca. I don't know how we're going to do that. I know they've got them in Cuenca. Well, they might have them in Guayaquil. So Guayaquil is like two and a half hours from, from here. So, and that's one way. So. It's not like an easy thing to do. 
Okay guys, well, we'll see what happens with the water filters. We're having a great day today. We went and got some veggies. We were just going to get two or three items and we ended up with a couple of full backpacks. Yeah, uh, sometimes people want to know, what do you guys do? Well, we walk to the bus stop and then jump on the bus. That's how we get home with our food. <laughs> you certainly don't walk with them. I mean, backpacks are very it's heavy. Full. It's full. It's heavy. It's heavy. really heavy. Ugh. Yeah, that's really hard on your shoes, too. But yeah, we're just going to go a half a block here to outside and jump on the bus. All right, well, let's go do that. On another note, I just uh, want to reiterate, this is just an ex something that I experience all the time. I experience it because when I go shopping, I experience it. Like just the other day, I was at the Mercado, and, uh, you know, there's no plantains to speak of right now anywhere, even in the Mercado. Well, there was one vendor just one vendor out of a whole Mercado. And I asked him how much, he said six for a dollar, and of course I knew that was ridiculous, just from shopping in Cuenca Mercados. So I went to the Paseo shopping today, the Comisariato, and uh, sure enough, I got six medium to regular size plantains. These aren't really skinny and thin or anything. Six of them were only 88 cents. So that's what I'm saying, you know, moving to a developing country and shopping at Mercados is not a panacea. It's not going to turn you into a a bargain ha a shopper or anything it's not going to make you automatically you know it's not automatic you got to do the homework you know what you know why i bring this up so much i i see a lot of people traveling uh, nowadays there's a lot of youtubers there's some people a lot of people in thailand and you know it's the same story no matter where you go it sounds like whether you're in thailand or you're in ecuador or any of these places that are promoted as cheap the food prices at the shopping centers soon enough they the prices just shoot up higher than in the United States. And I've talked about this before and why it happens. It's just the targeted volume of, of newcomers that come into town with money to spend and the, and, and the lack of competition. Yeah, there's a lack of competition in developing countries. Uh, you know, I mean, you got one store or two stores and everybody goes there. And a lot of times the foreign, the number of foreign visitors, it can escalate. It can go higher and higher, you know, into thousands and tens of thousands. So this is a huge surge of volume for the store. And so this is why you see this happening. And it's a caveat. It's, it's just a buyer beware. You know, eventually, this is what happens. And we talk about this a lot because it's very important. You know, price is mentioned all the time. Every time you see the sales pitches about moving abroad, there's always, always a price mentioned. To this day, yeah. So, yeah, I go to the Mercado and I end up going home without plantains. Just because I know. I know that that's just not the price. Uh, you know, and there's one vendor with Fontaine. So I'm going home without it. Anyhow, thanks for listening, guys. I just thought I'd preempt y'all. <laughs> we already know you can put a uh, special solution in the water. And uh, the solution, we're reading the ingredients. It's just like lime juice and stuff. It is. It's all just... It's, it's just food. lime. Citric. Food. Citric, Citric food, acid. Yeah. Citric acid food. Yeah, and these amoebas, are, they're, they're serious stuff. You don't want to take chances. We got it pretty much wrapped up with the bottled water. Uh, we just need to get a faucet filter. That's all. But they don't have them here.